I want to um, talk about a topic that um, is very personal to me in my journey as a woman um, and that had a lot of growing up to do and figuring out who she was um, and a lot of self-doubt because of a lot of different childhood traumas and traumas with um, adult relationships with men whom took advantage of that um, vulnerabilities. And so um, the topic stems right now from situations that I've encountered over the last while, um, in particular recently too, um, socializing with people of the opposite sex men, <laughs> opposite sex, that I see, I see the not the red flags, but I see the comments that they make, um, the things that they share, that an old ver older version of me, or younger version of me, however, um, would have fallen for, would have been all hearts in my eyes, would have been thinking about a future with this person. Sorry, I have a kitten, and she loves to get in my way of everything. So anyway, <laughs> um, that the, this version of me, the one that's more put together, thank you, sweetheart, just look at, looks at that objectively, the comments objectively, looks at the situation objectively. And, um, and as a mom, you know, responsible, I'm responsible for the life of my child and what I create as his environment. So I would never uproot him for anything that wasn't worth our time and that had value that made it so it enriched our lives at, you know, at the same time enriching that person's life. But I wouldn't do that. So I'm very cautious as to whom I bring into my environment um, and also who I'm, I bring into my heart to this day. I don't care how cute you are, how well we vibe, how uh, much you're really tapping into the things that I admire or I like or you think I'm about. It's not going to convince me uh, or move me in a way that I want to include you in this reality with me and my son. Um, it's not because I've been there, done that, fallen for the bullshit and seen it. Um, firsthand, it not be actions, but just words, and um, it only gets worse from there. Um, no guy who is just words ever suddenly wakes up one day and starts putting those words into action. That's really rare. So, <clears throat> if you're a guy who gets insulted by that, then you're a part of the problem. Um, anyway, so I, I think my wisdom here that I'm trying to pass to... Um, younger women, uh, younger girls, is that hold your space, hold your own. For me, it's changed ever since I realized that I could do it on my own. I've got this life, and sometimes I struggle tremendously um, because I do suffer from depression, I do suffer from anxiety, and I do get really overwhelmed, and I um, have insecurities and fears, et cetera, et cetera. I'm a human being in this 3D world. Um, the human shell but I have proven to myself time and time again that I can do it and I'm doing the best that I can and I'm working on self um, I've you know uh, how had to ask myself how can I help myself um, achieve certain goals how can I help myself uh, create a stronger version of myself you know so for me part of that was therapy seeking therapy and and um, at one point I had that st stigma of like, oh, therapist, you know, what is that gonna look like? Um, it That's silly. You have to self-care and I'm glad that that's kind of a thing right now where people are self-caring for themselves. As women, it's so important for us to self-care. It's so important for us to put ourselves first um, and not men. And hear that again, put yourself first 
and not men not what they say not what they not what they do who just let them do their thing they were gonna they're going to eventually and quite frequently and and very soon show you who they really are because men are just living in the moment they're always living in that now situation they'll show you who they really are let them do their thing you focus on you girl you focus on your goals you focus on making yourself mentally and physically strong so that you never fear being on your own so you you never fear being the confident being that you need to be so you never fear speaking out your truth even if a guy goes ah, not all guys are like that listen motherfucker uh, if that insults you, if you don't understand that, you are part of the problem. Um, so, it is so important that we empower ourselves. And we, yeah, we do hashtag self-care at all times, always. Especially when you become a mama and it becomes more difficult to self-care. It is very important that you do it then more so than any other time when you've been single and stuff but never forget that that it doesn't matter um what someone else tells you you are living your reality you are living your space you are living your own life that does not include anyone else's opinions thoughts view of the world nothing so let those criticisms let everything come in and out don't keep them, don't retain it, don't let it affect you. And don't let a man change who you are or change your goals, change yourself. Stay focused. Um, right now, in a I'm in a situation where I have someone who's quote unquote gushing over me and saying all the right things and he, tonight he said something and I've heard it before. I've heard it countless times before. And countless times before, I've gone like, oh my god. You know? Um, he said something about he was outside looking at the moon and made, it, made him think of me. Um, I haven't personally talked to this person about my connection with the moon. But he does know that I'm a moon child. Why? Because he's on social media with me. And it's pretty easy to see. Um, some of the things that I'm connected to so when he said that I was like huh I, I might give a lot away don't I on my social media that's where I, my mind went to instead of the former me would have gone oh my god he's like so connected to me yeah no I thought well, well that's that's smart that's sneaky that's that's uh clever of him to find something that he knows that I'm very much about and bring it out and yeah he's being a, a um, very attentive and um, I think he mentioned it at one point I think that his ultimate goal would be um, because he can't move here where I am and I can't I won't move to where he is because um, it's really really hot and I'm photosensitive um, I literally cannot be in hot weather my body can't process it I start my, my body starts shutting down and um, and a typical sunny day can make me feel like I'm, my skin is on fire, um, like a freaking vampire. So, yeah, I can't be out in, in sunlight, direct heat like that. No, I, I would literally die. So, he knows that I can't go over there. However, he did mention the other day that I guess, you know, he can't stop thinking about me and, and dreaming about that stuff, about us being together. And I guess he's hoping that maybe somehow I would end up over there with him. Because he won't move because he has his family over there. Parents, siblings, I guess. Um, a son and an ex-wife that he's you know, friends with and stuff. So he's got his family established. So I had already communicated to him that I'm photosensitive. I mentioned it briefly. Um, so it kind of annoyed me. Like, oh, you're still pursuing me knowing very well that I physically can't be in a place like that. And not only that, like, how do you have the goal to think that oh let that person uproot their life for me so if someone's coming into your reality into your life girl with already notions of how you can improve their life how you can 
complete their life, how you can do something to appease them or make their life happier, mm -mm. no, that is not for you. Walk away from that situation because if anybody, and this includes you too, if you are ready to date, you feel you're ready to date, but you are looking to have someone else complete you, then you're not ready to date. Sit back down, get your shit together up here, get your stuff right here, and meditate. Seek the, the assistance that you need, whatever it may be. Work on your goals. And then later on, when you feel more balanced, when you start thinking of what you have that can contribute to a relationship, how you have this to offer, then you know you're ready to date. And that goes for you guys too. Because you guys are so selfish. You guys in the, 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 the left brainers, you guys in the the Atlanteans, you guys in the era of logic and mathematical um, structure that have created so many wars, so many, just so many disaster in this on this planet with the whole left brain mentality. You guys are always self-serving and selfish. And I like that the dawn of the new man, that's what's been happening and um, it's gonna start speeding up now that we're in the age of Aquarius, that it, men are waking up and that is what's really attractive about us a guy that I know that I that had a um I got together with um not too long ago it's very attractive to me to see men awake and conscience and thinking more with the right right brain than um well I guess it's a balance they're very balanced left left and right brain because I've seen both in this one person but um but yeah, the whole left brain thing, the whole selfish, the whole me, me, me. There's a lot of guys out there like that still. We're in the process. We're in transition. That's going to take a sweet time. Um, maybe not even in our lifetime, but it is an evolution that it is happening. So we are in divine female energy. We've been in divine female energy for quite some time now, a few uh, years, at least a decade, and it's slowly evolving, and you can see it happening just in the way that we talk about um, how people's, um, how we address certain ethnicities, how we uh, raise the awareness of other ethnicities, and how important it is for us to really honor and respect them, and, and give land back, and give titles back, and give equality, and so dawn of the divine woman of the goddess the right brain creative softer lumerian energy is is where we're heading and it's fantastic to see men uh aware and awake for that but in the meantime be aware of all all men that are seeking you to fulfill them so in order for you to not fall and feel vulnerable to or be played by those beautiful words that they're so excellent at executing when they're trying to hunt you because they're hunters. Remember, they're hunters. We're the gatherers, right? That's our initial, um, that's our, our primitive brain. We gather, we gather all the love and attention and all this makes us feel great. They're hunters. They know what they're looking for. They know what to say to hook you. So work on self, work on you so that stuff doesn't even phase you that stuff you go and you know what and if you do mistakenly end up in a relationship with someone like that it doesn't